Welcome back, digital learners. Today we're here for day two of our distance learning. Hopefully you remember from yesterday that you're supposed to be doing 30 minutes of ELA and math on iReady. Today we're going to dive deeper into science and social studies. You're going to access your science and social studies through this Canvas course. Today, we're not going to expect you to do any of the lessons. We're just going to take a look at how to access them, complete them, save them, and one way in which you can submit them. This may not be the way your teacher wants you to submit them, but it is one way to get the answer to your teachers. If your teacher wants you to submit them in another way, please take their directions. If we scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna see that our goal today again is to become acquainted with the Canvas course. So let's get started and dive on in. The first thing you're gonna do is click the double arrow to shrink your screen and open your menu page again. We're gonna click on instructional days because that's where we're gonna find our lessons. And now I'm gonna click the double arrow to make our page big again. You will notice that there's a list of resources here for our core content areas. ELA and math remind you that you're gonna be doing 30 minutes of iReady on your device. Under science, you'll notice that there is a link that goes to a calendar that you can print if you have access to a printer that just kind of shows you what you should be doing each day. It's not necessary for you to print it, but it's definitely a great tool to look at. Below that, you'll see two different links for our textbook, one English, one Spanish version, and then you'll come to social studies. You have that same calendar resource for social studies to show you what you'll be doing each day. Now, below that, you'll notice lots of blue buttons labeled day one through 13. Remember, day one is what we did yesterday. That's just gonna take you back to how to log into iReady. Day two is gonna take you back to where we started today. Day three is going to be your actual lessons that should be starting tomorrow. We're gonna click on there just so we know what we're looking for. Here, you'll notice that there are four buttons. If you try to click on the buttons directly, they may not work. If you find that they're not working, you're gonna click the double arrow again, and then you'll click on day three, science, in order to get to science. Then I can expand again. Now you'll notice I have my laid out lesson here for me. It shows me my learning standard, my resource, which is the actual lesson I'm gonna open and complete, along with some things that will help me with that lesson, and then the assignment. And these are just telling me exactly what I'm gonna be doing in my resource. Occasionally you will notice there will be um, videos and external tools below. If you look, it says launch external tool. You can watch this video. We are working on this. It should be ready when you get here. We're going to start by looking at the first blue highlighted science grade five ICP day three lesson assignment. If I click on it and leave my finger on it, you'll notice it opens a new window. What I wanna do is click on open in Word. Once I've clicked on Open in Word, this new window will pop up. Here I will click Download. It appears as though nothing has happened. However, if I read search or enter website name and look to the right, there's a circle with a down arrow. If I click on this, it shows me that the file has downloaded. I can now click on the file, which will open in Word. When it opens in Word, it appears like I'm good to go and I can start typing. However, if I start to try to type, nothing happens. This is because I have not signed in yet. I will need to click sign in and then follow the prompts to sign in using my one or two alpha at vcs to go.net. Then I'll click next and then I will be prompted to enter my password. Once you've logged in, you're now on a screen where you're able to type and edit. So I can go ahead and answer my questions here. It says, read the engineering connection, complete the apply question, apply. If you had a keen sense of smell like that of a dog, what do you think you would smell that you cannot smell now? Now, I haven't read that part yet, so I'm going to need to go back to my Canvas course and open my other resource. So if I just click on it, it's gonna open it for me to look. And so now I can go ahead and read my engineering connection I'm gonna click my home button, go back to Word, and I can answer that question. So if I had a keen sense of smell and so on. I may on occasion also be asked to use a draw tool where I might have to connect things for matching and stuff. If that is the case, I'm gonna click the draw button, select my drawing tool, and then I'm just gonna show you just a practice draw, but I can just draw on my screen. So if I was to click connecting apply to analyze, I can just use that draw tool that way. Then if I wanna go back to typing, I'm just gonna click home again. 
So once I've clicked on home, I can just click where I want to type again and the keyboard will come up for me to be able to type again. So once I am done with my document and I'm ready to send it to my teacher, I'm going to click the arrow button that's right below the battery and then I'm going to click upload. It's going to take it just a few seconds to upload. As soon as it's finished saving, I'm going to click it again and this time you'll notice there's a different screen. In this screen, I am able to click on where it says enter a name or email address and I'm able to enter the name of my teacher. So I'm going to send it to my teacher, Elizabeth Pierce. I'm just going to click it. It automatically brings up her name and then I can click send. And now a copy has been sent to my teacher and I'm done with my assignment. If I need to log out so that my sibling or somebody else needs to use the iPad, I just click that back button, settings, click on my name and sign out. And now my device is ready for the next person to use Word. I would need to go back to my Canvas course as well. And then I'm going to click on that double arrow. I'm gonna to have to go to modules, go all the way back, back again to my main page, click the triple line, click log out. And it now logs me out and allows the next person to use the iPad. If I am the only user in my family,